Hello, happy painters. <laughs> I just wanted to come here for a second and show you the end result of the hummingbird that I kind of did a sample with you yesterday. And I will go ahead and make a unit out of it and um, you can do it if you want, okay? So here we go, I'll talk you through what I kind of did on my own after the, um, whoopsie. There, okay, and you guys can hear me, we're good. Hello, hello. Yes, test, test, test. <laughs> so, um, don't know why it's not going up high enough though. So I'm gonna have to check out settings later. Let's see if I do that, hold on. Test, test, test. That's a little better, I think, I think, I think, I think. Go up higher. Testing, okay. Anyway, so here is the hummingbird that I did with you a little bit yesterday. Let me zoom in a little closer so I can show you kind of what I did on my own. Um, if you remember, this was more orange and it had a couple little dots there. I decided I wanted to wash it down a little more, so I put the opera pink over the top and kind of wanted it to blend down through here. So I tipped it at a diagonal to try to get them to come a little closer. I didn't care for the orange. Um, I did think I got a little too dark with the bird. It just didn't feel right to me. I mean, it's not perfect, it's just for fun. Remember, this was no drawing. I just did it with the estimation drawing. If you didn't see that, go ahead and check it out. I love the eye. I'll show you what I like. I love the eye. I came back in with a stencil because it was too dark. And here is the stencil I used because it looks sort of like feather patterns to me. And, uh-oh, it's been interrupted. My video says it's been interrupted. Let's see if it's still going. It looks like it's still going. Uh, okay, so um, I used that, and so you can kind of see it, and I thought it just looked similar to feathers. And then after I lifted it out with Mr. Clean, I put other colors in there. Like, see, that's that was, I just added a green there, which I thought was kind of fun. I liked it. And I used it in here for the bigger ones. I thought that was fun too. So those are the stencils I put there. Um, I did a little more splattering. I darkened the eye a little bit. I um, did some more on the tail. Remember, this is a loose, loose bird. I also made the wings dip down a little bit. I lifted out paint there, splattered some yellow there. Um, I considered whether I should make the whole background dark, which I decided not to. It brightened it up with the pink above it. Uh, let's see. So I'm fairly happy with it. Um, just for a fun little loose painting that you guys saw me do, it didn't take very long. Um, I love doing hummingbirds. I would do them again and again and again. Again, again. <laughs> but I do love the eye. If I were to do it again, I probably wouldn't go as dark so fast on this one. But I think it does look, oh, see, okay. Putting the little pink on top where I... I put out, you know, I pulled out the, 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 here, the stencil. So let me show you again how that works, just because I have a couple minutes, right? So I grab a Mr. Clean, tear off a chunk. There's the chunk. I get it wet, get out as much moisture as you can, and I will lift out some paint on this and show you what I did. Um, how about... I'm kind of okay with the body. Okay, wait, you know what? I'll do some right there. Okay, let me turn that straight. I'll do some right there. And what, and I'm just using this one. I'll use this, this flower here and then just kind of scrub it a little bit. And I'll, you don't want it to look like a flower, so you want to adjust and move and then maybe make it like that. Can you see what that did right then? It just sort of made it look like a little feather pattern. Now, if I wanted to look a little bigger, I could use this bigger flower. And don't do the whole thing, because then it'll look like a petal. I'm just going to get the base. So like that right there. And then what I did, I'm going to do a couple more up here where it's a little bit darker, and I want it to maybe catch some light. Um, maybe I'll use a different flower that I have on there. I'll use that one. And maybe that one. So see, those are a few places that look kind of feathery, but also like flowers, which is fine because the hummingbird goes to flowers, right? And then I just grabbed a brush and I went, okay, you know what? I think I'll put pink in that, those. No, you know what? I'm gonna put yellow in. So let me find my yellow. And I'll use a bright yellow. This is Aurelian. 
And so I'm just going to go right where I just lifted the paint out and just kind of drop it in and leave the white out there, a little bit of the white, maybe. And that's what I did in the rest of it. You can kind of see that one I made look a little bit more like a, like a flower. Maybe I should fix that because it does kind of look like a flower a little too much. These are okay. They're a little more random. So let me go over that one. I will, maybe I'll make one go kind of a little bit sideways with it, kind of like that. So it's right where I was. I'm going to use that one right there. Okay, so a clean Mr. Clean. They get stained, so you have to throw them away quite frequently. So that might have broken it up a little bit. Anyway, I think it's fun. Um, I really like fun paintings, as you know. So that one, um, I'll use pink in that one. Because maybe it just caught a flower, the, the sparkle of a flower. Okay, and that's how I did it. And another thing I might want to consider doing is I did a lot of splattering. So I'm getting pink on my brush, a little bit watery. This is what it looks like, a little bit watery. And then I'll just sort of like tap my brush and maybe get it over that, that wing. Like it's, I don't know, pink's coming off of the head. I don't know. And I like it, it, you know, I like to make the splatters kind of show movement. Um, the tail, I think, looks kind of fun. I mean, it's not my favorite painting, but it's not terrible. And again, like I said, I do like the eye. I like the eye a lot. Um, I think the eye looks really good. I like the blue, the lighter blue around it. I like the green coming in there, and I like the... I mean, I like, like I said, I'm trying to like parts of it, and I think it's okay. I do love how this is coming down. Like, maybe there's some atmosphere up there, kind of a... I don't know, sun coming through or something. And then this down here can just be about anything. I didn't change that much. Oh, I did put a little bit of, um, I put paint on top of the stencil. So there you go. That's how it ended. Um, the, the painting I did without pre-drawing using a background that I just sort of threw on there before. You saw it all from the start, basically to the finish. I'm sorry I didn't record some of this. I was just sort of thinking as I was, doing it and I thought well this will be okay I can explain it okay I will open up a little hummingbird um, unit and I'll put these in here including a photograph of it okay <laughs> um, whoopsie I will post the dates of our next class which I think is October I'm not going to do it on the first of October because that's a Thursday so I'm going to do our next class October 6th It'll be October 6th and October 8th. That's that week. And then the 20th and 22nd. And so that's the, the first full week of October. Okay? And then the second or the fourth full. How do you do that? Here. Hold on. Can you see that or does it get too bright? Okay, there we go. So this week. The first full week and then the third full week. So the 6th and the 8th, the 20th, 22nd, and I'll be posting events as I usually do. But that's what's going to happen. Raven on this week, and I don't know what we're doing that week. I'm thinking about a chipmunk from Karen. Karen sent me a really cute picture of a chipmunk. Okay, I will talk to you guys soon.